Hey everyone, Malina from Color Art Emotion here. So today I put my art studio in a backpack and went sketching and painting on location. I found this super beautiful restaurant with an outside terrace in the park. Just next to it there is this rock hill that offers a perfect view of the entire restaurant. So this became my sketching spot. I really love that it's not in the middle of the crowd or of the people passing by. Before getting out, I was feeling very tired. It took me quite some time to get all my stuff ready and go out for painting. I'll be honest with you, I almost didn't go. But I knew that if I managed to get outside the house, I would feel less tired and much better. Many times the hardest thing is to start. So as you see, I start by arranging my outdoor studio. In my backpack I have just a few of my art supplies. I also carry with me a portable chair and it's very helpful because I can sit more comfortable over a long period of time. And as I told you before, I felt a bit tired in the last period of time, so of course I didn't sketch that much. I was also a bit anxious about how exactly to start sketching today and I didn't want to jump directly to sketching on the watercolor paper. So I started with a few small sketches of different parts of the subject that caught my attention. I started with a small general thumbnail without any details. Then I also sketched some umbrellas and tried to suggest the people having a nice time under them. I also tried sketching an overall view of the terrace. These sketches helped me in warming up and getting more familiar with the subject. They also helped me with gaining confidence on how to approach sketching this subject. And they are also very fun because they are simple exercises just to get started and no pressure on making them perfect. On my last community poll, many of you voted that you would like to see more painting on location videos and also more drawing videos. So in today's video, I added a lot of drawing parts, both small sketches and also the drawing for the watercolor painting that has a few more details. In that part, I was more careful on proportions and on constructing the drawing. You'll see that I'll be using diagonals and other things that we've talked in different videos. And about this rock that I'm sitting on. This type of rocks are all around Stockholm and they created specific landscape. And they are also very useful, for example, when you construct a house because you don't need to build up a big mass of concrete for the foundations. Instead, what you can do is to ground the house by screwing it into the rock. Practically, the rock becomes the foundation of the house. And the rock comes very helpful also in big infrastructure projects, like for example metro stations. So in those types of projects here in Stockholm, instead of digging a hole and then reinforcing it with concrete, they just explode the rock and then the rock supports itself. And you can leave the rock visible as it is, or you could paint it in different colors. Many metro stations from Stockholm have the rock visible, and they are some of the most beautiful in the world. Okay, so as you've already noticed, this painting spot is quite high, so I get a good overview of the restaurant. But also the people from the restaurant get a good overview of me moving around trying to figure out how to better place the tripod so I can film the process from a good and clear angle. Actually, many people were curious about what I was doing here, if the restaurant hired me to do a painting or why was I recording the process. It was very funny because people were coming from the front, so I was seeing them in advance. Mostly were coming parents with their kids and it was so nice to see this big interest in painting, especially in painting outdoors. Being outdoors has so many benefits for all of us and by incorporating fun activities like sketching and painting, it becomes such a great experience. You also get to socialize a lot more with new people that have an interest in things that you also like. This experience charged me with a lot of positive energy. So I plan to make my outdoor studio even smaller and more portable so I can have it with me more often. And I'm really curious, how does your outdoor studio look like? And how many supplies do you usually take with you when sketching on location? Ah, almost forgot, I also prepared for you a list with great watercolor artists from which you can learn a lot. I carefully selected them so that they are all watercolor artists focused on painting, architecture and urban scenes. But not only, you'll see. All their works are truly fascinating and all of them have such different styles. For sure, you'll also find a few favorites between them. 
In the list, I also added a small description for each of them, also their website, or books, or courses, so you'll get a very good idea on how to learn more from these artists. So, to get this list, just follow the link in the description below, and I'll send this amazing document to you. So now, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the sketching and painting on location process. Let me know in a comment below if you are enjoying this video, if you are enjoying painting on location, and how does your outdoor studio look like?
använder du kameran till det? Jag har ju visat bild av den. Jag har en Youtube-channel med uh, akvarell. Bra, ja. Ja. Vad bra du är på måla. Tack så mycket. Vad bra du är på måla. Tack så mycket. Hur är du är? Du är. Kolla vad fint du har målat. Vad är det? Du har målat det där. Gud vad fint. Tack så mycket.